Hello everyone. Thank you for inviting me to this uh, conference and to giving me the opportunity to talk about the linked data to estimate the period prevalence of rheumatoid arthritis in Western Australia Hospital. Uh, let me first introduce myself. My name is Khaled al -Mutayri. I am a third year PhD student at Medical School of the University of Western Australia. Um, my, my research, uh, my doctoral research investigates the clinical epidemiology profile of rheumatoid arthritis to determine the cost burden of hospital care service in Western Australia. Uh, I hold a master's degree in uh, clinical pharmacy and, um, and as well as a master's degree of health administration, both from Curtin University. Um, I worked as a senior ICU clinical pharmacist at uh, King Fed Specialist Hospital um, in Saudi Arabia for more than seven years. My oral presentation today for paper number 373, Hospital Admissions for Patients with the Rheumatoid Arthritis in Western Australia Hospital have declined over the time. It's written by me and Professor Nusset and Professor Green and Dr. Keane and uh, Dr. Enderfield. So let's start our presentation today. The background, the rheumatoid arthritis uh, represents a substantial burden on patients and society in terms of uh, morbidity, uh, enduring the disability and medical expenses. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, preference is poorly described in uh, Australia, and linked health data sets can provide more meaningful uh, picture for rheumatoid arthritis epidemiology in the Australian population. The purpose of, the, of our study is to an accurate estimate for rheumatoid arthritis prevalence will help to determine the disease and the economic burden of care for rheumatoid arthritis patients and inform health policy to reduce the burden of this disease and provide information for healthcare resources allocation. The aim to describe the period prevalence or rate of rheumatoid arthritis per thousand hospital uh, separation coded as rheumatoid arthritis primary or secondary diagnosis in Western Australia Hospital between 1995 and 2014. For the method, we extracted the data on all patients identified in the Western Australia Hospital morbidity data collection between 1995 and 2014 with the international classification of the disease ICD codes for primary and secondary rheumatoid arthritis codes. ICD-10 M05 to uh, M6.99 and the corresponding ICD-9 codes 714. We estimated the period prevalence uh, rate per thousand hospital separations and annual average percentage changes with the total number of hospital separation each year for emergency and for the uh, hospital admissions and for uh, mortality separation. The results, uh, a total of 17,125 patients were admitted to uh, Western Australia Hospital with diagnostic code for rheumatoid arthritis over the, the study period of 1995 to 2014. Uh, the total number of the hospital separation where rheumatoid arthritis patient was uh, 50,353 indicating an average of three hospital separation per patient over 20 years. As we see in Table 1, this is, uh, shows the characteristic of rheumatoid arthritis hospital separation between 1995 and 2014 in Western Australia Hospital. As we see, the female is three times higher than the male in, the, in hospital separation. Uh, in the age group, the highest uh, uh, the highest hospital separation in the age group of 70 to 84 with 15,361 hospital separation, uh, around 30% of uh, the hospital separation during the study period. The rheumatoid arthritis per parents was 3.4 per thousand separation over the study period with a 2.89% annual average decrease in hospital separation since 1995. In Table 2, characteristic of rheumatoid arthritis hospital separation types in the study period, um, 
the hospital separation types, uh, the emergency uh, separation was uh, 1099, and it's uh, around 2.2% of the hospital uh, separation. The hospital admissions is the uh, is the most uh, mode of uh, hospital separation by for for 48,092, uh, consistent of 95.5%. Uh, in hospital mortality uh, separation is 1,162, around 2.3%. Regarding the mortality, the rheumatoid arthritis was the primary causes of death in the, in the period of 1995-2014. The in-hospital mortality separation was 2.3% of total hospital separation in the study period. Uh, finally, the conclusion. This data demonstrates the hospitalization for rheumatoid arthritis has decreased uh, considerably in the Western Australia over the last two decades, as decrease roughly con uh, coincides with the introduction of more aggressive treatment for rheumatoid arthritis and the uh, reduced need for hospital admission, which is likely due to improvement in early rheumatoid arthritis management. Uh, this has reached me to the end of my presentation. Please feel free to contact me uh, by email. Thank you for your attention.